What's the maddest you've ever seen someone during a game? Call the guy's character broken because it had like two dozen busted custom abilities grafted to it. And when he tried to argue otherwise, I did the mental calculations he never bothered to do, and illustrated with really no room for further argument why his character was overpowered to a laughable degree, and didn't even have the decency of being by the rules broken. Turns out the character was from a novel he was writing. Oh, that's hack. Okay, come on, guys, <laughs> that's expected at this point. <laughs> and me laying out that it was a shameful power fantasy of the highest order was worse than me yanking a sister's tits out. <laughs> So he blew up in a cat ball of fury and he called me every nasty thing he could think of for nearly four minutes straight while weakly trying to slam the table for emphasis, only to storm off when another player noticed he was crying and started laughing. <laughs> Honestly, like, I, I don't mind people that, like, you know... Don't this! My character! No, I, I don't really mind it if people want a power game. You know what I mean? If they want to try and make the most powerful character they can, that's fine, but you got to do it by the rules. Yeah. Like, at the very least. Just the very, yeah. At the very least. If you're not doing it by the rules, get the fuck out. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just get, get the fuck. Me as the GM when I had to run like 14 of the same NPC in an online game for a final one-off to cap off a campaign, and I kept struggling to keep up with them because I was too retarded just to copy the sheet a bunch, and they had a lot of abilities and varying levels of health left. I got really frustrated, but the players were very understanding. That's nice. I'm yeah. happy to hear that. Like, you know, like, I have a hard time keeping up with one player character. I don't know. I, <laughs> yeah, I, don't... I, I have honestly <laughs> no idea how DMs can keep up with NPCs. I know. It actually boggles my mind. Maybe, I'm just, maybe I'm just a complete and utter fucking brainlet when it comes to <laughs> it. But uh, that's just not my forte. No. No, not for me. I had a player crack a tooth during a game. Not mad at any of us, but mad at the big bad evil guy. Their character was restrained by the big bad evil guy and was mocking their life choices and plan. They were gritting their teeth so hard the tooth cracked. Oh my, oh god. my god! Go to anger management! Immediately broke from the role play to address the situation. Laughed about it later. That actually makes my I teeth hurt. That oh. makes. Oh, ugh, ugh. Not for me. Sorry, guys. No, fuck. Oh, like, either the, the guy's jaws are incredibly strong or his teeth, teeth are weak as fuck. Shit. <laughs> We were playing during the 2016 election. People were stopping mid-game to look at the election results. One was crying and one had a panic attack. <laughs> it was kind of annoying because I just wanted to get through the dungeon. <laughs> I just want to play, man. I don't care about politics. Let me just play. <laughs> me. Just now. Losing a character because of awful rolls. Wyvern mounted boss. Three missed attacks. No rolls higher than a seven. One hit attack. Rolled once for damage. Hit twice with fire breath, reflex save just barely out of my range and get downed. While downed, boss doesn't hit a single attack against anyone else. Revive, retreat, begin healing. Boss turns to me, bites. Swatted away, bites again, die. <laughs> this is nowhere near the first character I've lost, but what the fuck? I seriously can't believe the incredible luck for me to be the only person who's been hit after five turns in combat. Yeah shit. Oh, that is just, you know what I mean? But, like, deaths happen. Yeah. You know. Because of a game? Playing Palladium FRPG with a party of eight players. All of us playing sketchy evil types in a limited campaign of 12 sessions. Me and a pal team up in a game because it turns out we had similar goals and the same evil overlord master. No, this is turning into backstab central at the end, so we prepare. Another player thinks he's being a super subtle diplomat man and he sets up a plan to betray the entire party once we have the loot. Get to the last session. Lost four characters to the badass bad guys, totally in line with the tone of the limited run we signed up for. As we are leaving the cursed city, it is me, my pal, Captain Sneaky and another player. Captain Sneaky tells GM, I enact my plan. GM can't help but smile as the other guy and my pal grapple Captain Sneaky and I behead him having tackled down and turned off all of his plots, items and spells. Player screams IMPOSSIBLE! <laughs> GM starts to explain that we have figured out all of his tricks and plans. IMPOSSIBLE! <laughs> Impossible! I'm twice as smart as you two put together. My pal. <laughs> oh yeah? If you're so fucking smart, why is your character so fucking dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's solid gold chick. I can't argue with that. Let's be serious. Captain Sneaky. You cheated! Cheats! <laughs> My pal laughed. Captain Sneaky tried to slap him. Slap him! 
and missed and then ran out of what <laughs> and ran out screaming <laughs> screeching <laughs> all right well add a game meet up names me adam bob and charlie have a champion game going dave wants to join we let him he's fun after a few sessions he asked to bring his girlfriend alice sure alice has never played before but learns fast she's fun and learns fast nice kid alice starts driving herself over explains that no she is not dave's girlfriend he's never even asked her for a date long story short about a month later bob mentions how fun he had taking alice to the movies dave freaks out says alice was supposed to date him not bob bursts into tears and runs out if you don't shoot your shot, you're know, never going to get it. I know, mate. I, like, honestly, if you didn't try, I, I'm sorry. I go, I can't. If you're That's, not in, you can't win, mate. Like, you know, what, what's that saying? I love that saying, who dares wins. Yeah. You know, what's the worst that's going to happen? A female tells you you're absolutely repulsive. I know. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, it's not very nice to hear the that. The worst you're going to get is no. Yeah. Well, most, shoot your shot. Yeah, exactly. You may as well just give it a go. Like, oh, you uh, guys out there, shoot your shot. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Like, I'm telling you right now, see if you've been thinking You got a wee crush? You, 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 just, you want you a girl, but you're too nervous then, to oh, do it? Like, just do it. Like, either do it or you end up in the friend zone. Uh, just do it. Worst she can say is no. You move on and find another girl. That's it. Yeah. Please do it. PSA to for the day. <laughs> Catan. Anytime, well. <laughs> anytime I hear about uh, Settlers of Catan, I always think of... Uh, that, that goth vi- couple? Yes, from the video we did. Eyes um, Wide Shut, go Eyes watch shot. it. It's if you haven't good. seen it, go watch it. It's, it's an experience. <laughs> it's de- I think it's one of my favourite video or v- favorite stories we've done in the past yeah. year. Easy. So, Catan. Six-person game, pretty intense. Two players, call them Sam and Nick, are trading cities for resources. Down to the wire to the point that Sam is going to win because Nick is one brick short of victory. Nick is about to pass but asks another player, can I trade for a brick? Other player says sure. Nick wins one move before Sam's certain victory. Sam ran around the house yelling then headbutt at the table. What? Okay. (laughs) We were all laughing including Sam. Still the angriest I've personally seen. <laughs> I don't know. But then again, I, see, that always freaks me out. That's what kind of put me off Magic the Gathering. The amount of T-Wolf Guppers I've seen. Yeah. There's, like, and I'm, Stormites. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I know, like, I'm not I'm not really a card player myself. I've never really been in, big into cards. Yeah. I dipped into Yu-Gi-Oh, but it wasn't really for me. And anytime I watch them uh, Magic the Gathering Freak Out tournament videos, oh my god. I know. All the it, hair it, stuff. It, 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 really it actually it does. does unnerve me to a certain extent. D&D 4th Edition. Playing a Paragon tier pre-made whose name I can't remember because we were doing a whole rotating GM thing. To avoid the forever DM curse and give everyone a chance to play as a PC. And it was the DM's first time running a game. One of our regulars were out of the game for family reasons and we decided to play without him. At the end of the adventure, about to fight the last boss. Regular gets back and checks in to see how things are going and if there's space in the current game. I pull out a fighter paragon multi-class wizard I had as a spare just in case we didn't have a chance to revive. We fight the final fight and my rogue gets low HP in the middle of a hard fight with the boss monster and its henchmen. Regular dude drops his big daily wizard power on top of both the boss and I. I dropped a zero and I have to start rolling death saving throws. I joke about how funny it is that I got taken down by my own character. Regular guy flips the fuck out for no reason. Our collective grip faces when he does. Why? What? Why flip out over that? I, well, I, uh, I don't get that. I don't like, get you know, that. And like you know, like I'm, you know, for me personally, like you know, if it's the end of a big campaign and you die fighting the big boss, you die. I think that's that's a good enough death. Yeah. Like you know, as long as you made it to the end. Yeah, you made it to the end. The boss died. Yeah, you don't get the happy ending, but you achieved your goal. Yeah, you the, achieved like, what you, you know, were meant so to do. I, I, so. I don't, I don't mind that. Like you know, yeah. personally, I wouldn't. I wouldn't get too upset about that. Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role-playing games? Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. (laughs) (laughs) We got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at (laughs) neckbeardia.co.uk. Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video, let's get on with the story. This was two PCs, and they got super fucking steamed over Gaston. <laughs> what? <laughs> I hope it's actually Gaston I... from Pity and the Beast. 
This was a Discord D&D game. I know, I know. And we were playing a vaguely gothic horror inspired adventure involving a werewolf hunt. I think it's actually a send up of Beauty and the Beast. Oh my god, it fucking But I can't be sure. Anyway, we had two female players and three male players. Things were going quite smoothly until we were introduced to the NPC werewolf hunter, who was basically Gaston. Kind of a hilariously boastful guy with big muscles, an arrogant demeanour, and just generally being over his head. So I jokingly ask the DM whether he's attractive, and the DM says, he's pretty handsome. He brags about slaying monsters and laying maidens, though he's presumably a low-level NPC. The law of narrative casually basically states that he's going to die or be horribly mangled, so I decide to do some harmless flirting with him. The other femme PCs, the party's paladin, also decides to join in, playfully competing to get his attention. The thing is, at least two of the other players are really upset about this. They don't say, cut it out, out of character or whatever, or they're not comfortable with it. They're genuinely upset. The rogue sort of rolls with it, but the warlock gets sulkier and sulkier and more brusque until he just disconnects and never comes back, despite being pinged repeatedly. The rogue and the warlock were really mad someone else was getting attention. I point out it was a joke. The entire NPC was a joke. It was just that two characters are playing along with it to build him up. I don't really get why they have to be so adolescently sulky about it, when it's a setup for the guy inevitably being eaten by wolves. <laughs> Like, yeah. like, yeah, you know what it's like, okay? Females, like, you know, these people, like, you know, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bash people that play on Discord, because I part, like, you know, we, we, we play, play on, on Discord, Discord, but, I'm sorry, people that play on Discord are fucking weird, and I'm putting myself in there, <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, so I, I've got no, I don't feel bad yeah. saying this, and, like, you know, like, be honest with you, these people play, I've never, like, you know, like, spoken to girls that much. And probably and, are. Not well adjusted. Would that be a yeah. good? I think not. I, I think that's a really nice way of putting it. Yeah. Not well adjusted, but like you know, on the note of Gaston, I've got the perfect green text. You're actually going to make me do yes, this. Yes, you're doing this, and I've been waiting to do this, this for a very long time. So let's get into this. Oh, you guys got it. You guys got it. No! Okay, guys, let's do this. Let's stack Gaston. <laughs> let's just assume the baseline stats are ten in all fields: strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Then let us listen to the lyrics. I can't believe he's making me do this. This is going to be good, I'm sure. <laughs> There's no man in town as admired by you. You're no. everyone's favorite guy. Plus one charisma. <laughs> no one's slick as Gaston. Gaston. Plus one charisma. No one's quick as Gaston. One desk starting. <laughs> no one's neck as incredibly thick as Gaston. One, one constitution. For there's no man in town half as manly. <laughs> One strength. As perfect a pure paragon. Class paladin. <laughs> and they'll tell you whose team you prefer to be on. <laughs> One Christmas. No one's been like Gaston. One Christmas. No one's got a swell cleft in his chin like Gaston. One Christmas. As a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. <laughs> One Christmas. My water guy, that guest on. One charisma. Give five hurrahs. Five charisma. Give twelve hip hips. Twelve charisma. Guest on is the best. One all. No one fights like guest on. One strength. Douses likes like guest on. One wisdom. In a wrestling match, nobody bites like guest on. One strength. For there's no one as burly and brawny. One constitution. <laughs> as you see, I've got biceps to spare. One strength. Not a bit of him scraggly or scrawny. One constitution. And every last inch of me's covered with hair. <laughs> one constitution. <laughs> no one hits like Gaston. One strength. Matches wit like Gaston. One wisdom. In a spitting match, nobody spits like Gaston. I'm especially good at expecting. Story. <laughs> Two decks already. So I'm roughly the size of a barge. And constitution. No one shits like Gaston. One dex. Makes those boots like Gaston. One charisma. Then goes tromping around wearing boots like Gaston. Ten movement speed. I use antlers in all of my decorating. Plus ten interior decorating. <laughs> <laughs> okay, which, <laughs> so what does that get Gaston up to so, then? Which puts Gaston at 16 strength, 15 dex, 25 constitution, 
11 intelligence, 13 wisdom, and 36 charisma. <laughs> High strength and dex, incredible constitution, average intelligence and wisdom, legendary charisma, great stats for a paladin. Yeah, I, I could see Gaston being in the Paladin Legion. Yeah. You know what? This 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 entire video is getting hijacked by Gaston because I've got a couple of these. Let's do them. I don't even oh, care. No, no, no. no. We, we, got, we got more. Let's keep going. You fuckers think your lives suck? Be me. Be 11. Realize I'm a faggot. Fuck. Live in a backwards ass, tiny redneck Eurofag town. Would get kicked out if anyone found out. Pulled up this ridiculous macho persona. <laughs> <laughs> Gets really into sports and hunting and shit. Turns out my hunting buddy is gay too. Forbidden love, JPEG. B25, tall and into sports. So bitches go after me left and right. Have to find an excuse to turn them all down. Find this nerdy freak bitch who hates me. Start hitting on her really badly. She obviously turns me down. My beard hates me. I don't give a fuck. Then the bitch suddenly isn't around anymore. Turns out she's gotten this crazy ass abusive boyfriend who won't let her leave the house. The cops can't do shit. Everyone looks at me like I'm supposed to do something about it. Gotta pull up the macho man face, get some friends, including my hunting buddy, and walk up to the boyfriend's house. The bitch pulls some Stockholm Syndrome loony shit about how we don't understand their love. The boyfriend is fucking insane. Things get heated and I end up stabbing the boyfriend who shoves me off the building. The love of my life watches as I fall to my death. My face went, nobody's still as slick as Gaston. <laughs> no. no! Okay, so this video's been hijacked by Gaston Poston. This is officially Gaston Poston <laughs> Sa- 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 <laughs> Um If I see any comments down below that, that aren't Gaston directly, that, that's not Gaston related. Yeet. I'm sorry, guys. You guys, you gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> you're, 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 you're banned from the channel eternally. <laughs> I just can't, I can't have you guys around. I'm really enjoying this Gaston Poston at this point. Be me, 23, Mega Chad. Loved by everyone on time. Fall in love with cutie pie called Belle. Rejected the advances of every other woman in time because it's below me. Throw a surprise party for Belle to get her to marry me. Get rejected. Depression.jpg. Go and get drunk in local tavern. Utterly humiliated. Reveal my insecurities to everyone, which just makes me more loved. Best friend sings me a song. Future wife's dad comes running in, screaming about some dumb monster that kidnapped his daughter. Lock him in mental asylum for his own benefit, ensuring he gets best medical care available. Belle appears and proves the monster is real, saying he's a better man than me. Possible dark magic or mind control? Band together with villagers to save her from monster. Literally 1v1 a huge monster and beat him half to death with my bare hands. Manly as fuck, top PNG. <laughs> monster uses some OP power about having a heart or some shit. Throws me off a roof. My face when I'm killed by a furry with dark magic. Oh, no. My face when everyone says I am the villain of the movie. No! <laughs> no! Look, Gaston, you will always be in my heart. Remember that. <laughs> 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 no homo, guys. No homo. Uh, yeah, I know this video. Like, you know, this oh, it's got fucking high, derailed. This, this, like, I, like I, I enjoyed these ones. I thought they were funny as fuck. And they've been sitting on my computer for a little years at this point. Yeah, we didn't even know there was going to be a gas on thing in that thread. And yeah. then as soon as he said it, he's like, like you're no, fucking singing. No, I'm like, please no. Shit. I'm sorry if the song sounded very janky. Um, more than likely will. I tried to get it into the right tune so we were watching the video at the same time. Yeah. But look, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I, it, was, it was a lot of fun to make this one. I've been really wanting to do them gas on once for I don't know how long. So I'm just happy I got to do them. But once again, this is Gaston Central. Only talk about Gaston in the yeah. chat. If you, okay, if I see anyone talk, not talking about Gaston, I know you didn't watch the end, so shame on you. <laughs> shame. Shame. But as okay, always, that, guys, yeah, check good. out the links, check out all the models. Um, go and hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time he posts. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>